What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, my good peoples? Hope y'all taking care of y'all except today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that dope bell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. I'm going to play let's like, let's catch it, baby, at the end, baby. Let's go. Miami Dade, and let's get right out down to Local 10's Terrell Pernay, live at the scene for us with what he knows. Terrell. Yeah, very active scene this afternoon here in Southwest Miami-Dade. I will step out of the way so you can see Miami-Dade police officers here working a homicide investigation. Let's get right to this video from Sky 10. We know that police got the call just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. It was actually a shot spotter alert that alerted them to gunfire in this area. When these officers arrived, they found a man deceased here at the scene. This is Southwest 216th Street near 113th Avenue. It has been a very active scene ever since. Uh, we know that paramedics were here. They pronounced that individual deceased, as I mentioned, but this appears to be the result of a drive-by shooting, and we know that police have at least detained someone not far away from the scene, but we're working to figure out if perhaps an actual arrest has been made. But again, Police working a homicide investigation here in Southwest Miami-Dade, Southwest 216th Street and 113th Avenue. Out now live to this area, I spoke with someone who tells me that they know the victim and uh, that victim, they say, uh, was a man in his early 40s. We know that his family members are also here on this scene. They are looking for answers as to what exactly happened or how this deadly situation unfolded as soon as we did. We're learning more today about the victim. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos is live in Southwest Miami Dade with reaction from those who knew him. Roy. Well, friends and family, we got a chance to speak with say that he was not the intended target. He was shot right outside of his vehicle that you can still see parked right outside of his home. We're told that his wife and children were inside. Fortunately, they weren't injured, but it's police now searching for a killer. He don't deserve this at all. His name was Antoine Ingraham, but family and friends all knew him as Sleepy Brown. I've been knowing Sleepy since I've been a, a little boy. That's my, that's my god brother. He's always been a cool, fun guy. But the news spread quickly when the businessman was shot and killed just after 2 in the afternoon Thursday on Southwest 216th Street and 113th Avenue, right outside of his own home. That's the hurting part because his kids is home. His wife is dead. Sky 10 up above as crime scene techs and detectives gathered evidence near a yellow tarp covering the victim's body seen behind his work truck. Friends tell us Sleepy operated a mobile car wash with most of his customers coming to him for his services. All he does is wash cars, sell CDs, and DJ All right, cars. my good people, does. you know what I'm he saying? Nobody. Man, look at him. Dropped everything that I was doing. You know what I'm saying? If here, that dude wasn't the ticket, him. The, uh, you know, the my family target, him. right? A day later, and we watched okay. as investigators were back out in the neighborhood searching for answers That's as to I don't who, understand. who they who they were shooting at, who they thought that stayed there. What if somebody they were trying to get somebody that thought that stayed there, and they told the person this way he stayed at? You know what I'm saying? Because people can lie where they stay at, so nobody want to know where they stay at. Some people be pointing out the wrong people's house, claim that they stayed there and don't stay there. So who was the target target? Why they shot towards his direction? And the man don't do but wash cars, man, sell CDs. He ain't had no enemy, so you know what I'm saying? Who who did that? You know what I'm saying? But if they find out the killer, who, who the killer is, right? You know what I'm saying? To me, I think he, somebody probably, I ain't no telling how people think, man. They, they might got mad at him. Cause he will, ain't no telling. They probably did the car wrong or. I think he's trying to holler at somebody else or something like that. You know what I'm saying? People get s some crazy, you know what I'm saying, ideas, man, what be going on, man, and they just be killing innocent people, man. It's like, man, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes he's more not the most speak about trying to, you know what I'm saying, coach the young youth, like, you know what I'm saying, stop the killing. You know what I'm saying? It pay our best not to say nothing because we not getting through to the, to the young people, man. We just ain't getting through to the young people. You feel me? We could sit on here and try to, you know what I'm saying, save people and save yourself. You feel me? It's like it's hard to most save yourself, especially you just doing an honest, honest living. You feel me? I don't, I don't get it. 
It's like some 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 ain't ringing bell right. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I be trying to think like, what can I say to get people attention? That's what I be saying to myself. You feel what I'm saying? Without me just being on YouTube trying to speak to y'all. You feel me? I be trying to think, but it seems like you ain't no sense of thinking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You bust your brain trying to help somebody. You know what I'm saying? So. Only thing I can think, man, we just got to keep praying harder than what we're praying for. You feel me? That's just bottom line, man, because you know what I'm saying? Right here, man, it's just give and take. You know what I'm saying? Somebody give somebody a life, and they take that person's life. You feel me? And what I mean by that, some of y'all slow people out there, when your mother birthed you and you got somebody to come along, they didn't want to take your life. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? That's the end, baby. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all comment. How y'all feel and what y'all think about this? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? This man had family, kids, man, all that. And it happened right there in front of the man crib, man. Right there. Man, this crazy, man. And they come to him, to his crib, where he washed cars at. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about, man. Anyway, my good people, man. That's the end, baby. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that dough bill for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. You know what I'm saying? Good people, man. It's just pay your best, man. Just watch your surrounding, man. Don't matter if you ain't doing that still. Look around. Don't be sitting there with your back turned because you never know what can happen to you, man. You know what I'm saying? These young jits out here, man. Might be young that did it, might not. I don't know. But anyway, my good people, people, you know what I'm saying? I can't more talk right because I'm. I'm worried, you know what I'm saying, thinking about how them kids feel and they daddy got, you know what I'm saying, zipped up right there in front of their spot. You feel me? So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.